Hi guys, today I am doing a holiday haul. I wanted to show you makeup and beauty products that I got for the holidays. I debated whether or not I should do this video because I don't usually do hauls because I don't usually buy makeup. And I decided that yes, I really do wanna show you guys what makeup I am bringing into my collection. I also thought I would give you guys mini reviews and then I could do a rehaul both on this stuff and the haul that I posted maybe a month ago or so. so so yeah, and just a disclaimer, this isn't to brag, this is generally me being like, okay, I am a project panner and I don't get that much makeup, so I want you guys to see like what makeup I am bringing in. So I did mention in one video that I love Christmas, but I am Jewish, and I love to say that to throw people off, but I do actually celebrate Christmas. My mom's whole side is Christian, so we do that, but I wanted to show you guys what I got for Hanukkah. So I was away for Hanukkah this year. Um, only one day, like when finals were over, the last night of Hanukkah, I came home. So my mom let me pick out a couple things for myself, which was really nice. So I'm gonna show you what they are. They are all from ColourPop. The first thing is the ColourPop Dream Street palette. This is the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop palette. And this is what the palette looks like. And I am still, you know, in the process of first using this, but I definitely do have some thoughts. I think that I like this, I don't love it. My favorite shades would have to be all of the blue tones, so like this blue shimmer and, you know, this, and Kathleen says she considers this to be a blue, and I agree, it's like a silver, but definitely a blue silver. I definitely am glad I got this palette because I think that that opened my eyes to a whole new look with blue eyeshadow and like greeny eyeshadow. There are just some shades in this palette I could live without. In terms of quality, I think all of them are good except this gold shade in Sweet Dreams is just crap. It's usable, but it's crap. Uh, I don't know, I think, you know, these darker shades, they're not like the best dark shades I've ever used, but they're definitely good. But these two shimmer shades are very similar to me. They look almost identical on the eyes. And I just feel like I didn't really need another brown, another uh, orangey crease color like this these two reds. I didn't really need them. They're not that unique to my collection, but I'm not going to depot this or anything. I definitely still think that this is nice, and I am glad that I have certain shades. I just kind of wish, like, why is it that people decide that they want to please everyone so they do, like, half crazy colors and half neutral colors? Like, I would have rather have seen a whole thing with this blue. And I definitely think it goes well with the greens, but I could have bought this palette and it had green and more blue and I would have been happier. So that's kind of how I feel. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy it, but definitely if you already have a shade like this, like if you already have the blue tones, you definitely don't need this palette. Okay, I also picked up three lipsticks, which is kind of weird for me, but I wanted to get one and then I realized that, you know, I was paying for shipping because I didn't have free shipping and it would only be five dollars more if I got two lipsticks because I would get one and then I would get one which would be like instead of paying for shipping I would reach thirty dollars. So the first one that I got is called Bitchette and it is a red and this is why I wanted to get a lipstick because I wanted a red to go with the shades in this palette. I thought it would go with the blue. Funny enough, I don't really wear this with the blue, but it's a really nice red. I've worn it a couple times and I really enjoy it. I have not worn colorful lipstick in years and I definitely am getting a little bit back into it. Like, I really enjoy wearing this red. Oh, this is a matte formula and I think that the matte formulas, I wouldn't really call them matte. They definitely don't dry down like they have a sheen to them, but it's still like a comfortable matte. I think it's more of like a satin to me. The other two shades are from the Matte X formula. So I have Gold Digger and then I have Daydream. This one is Gold Digger and this one is Daydream. It's so strange because this looks like a nude, but this is the color I wore in my Pan That Palette finale and it looks red on my lips. It's very strange, but I really like the color. I think that it's red, but it's almost like a natural muted red. Like I wear it and I'm not like, oh, that's red. I wear it and I'm like, yeah, this is like 
kind of like a nude, but it's red. It's weird. And the other color, I don't really think I need it. I think it's very close to Max Whirl. It's a little bit different, but I don't think it's as unique as I had hoped. My thoughts on the formula of the Matte X, it's kind of a like not love. I hate liquid lipsticks. I got rid of all my liquid lipsticks. I don't want any more. And I feel like the Matte X formula is the closest you can get to a liquid lipstick with still being a bullet. It applies just like a very thin liquid lipstick and it kind of wears throughout the day similar as well. Like you really can't reapply it that well. Like if you layer it, it gets so like dry and it just sucks the life out of you. And by the end of the day, it's very uncomfortable. You know, I don't think they're the things you want to wear all day long. I definitely will still wear them and use them because they're not as bad as liquid lipsticks, but I don't think I want any more from this formula. I think that Gold Digger is very unique to my collection. That color is something I haven't seen before. Lastly, from ColourPop, I got the Single Glass Bull. It is right here. It is like a duochrome kind of brownie purple. I'm going to give you a swatch. I'm actually wearing it today, but I have another product I'm going to talk about in a minute over top of it. I'm wearing it in the like inner half, but then I have kind of glitter on top. But I don't know if you can see that purple shift. I'll give you a swatch of it. So this is what it looks like. It's a very brownie purple duochrome. This is chunky, like so chunky. It's still usable and I still like it and I still would recommend it, but you have to at least go into it thinking like this is chunky. I'm gonna try to show you. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it's just super, super chunky. There's like flakes here and like when I blow on it, like the flake, the chunky flakes of like chunky eyeshadow, like blow off. I also don't like this right on the lid. I put this right on the lid and it looked gross. I felt like a naked mole rat and I don't know why because I don't even know what a naked mole rat looks like, but I felt like it was very scaly. Like I think with my skin tone, you definitely need a purple under this, but with a purple under it, I think it is beautiful and I'm not really mad that it's chunky. I just think it's something you have to keep in mind. Hi guys, so I do have a couple more things that I didn't get to include in that video because I got them a little later. The first one is this. This is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Hold on, I, if I can open it. This was on sale at Nordstrom Rack. This was a gift and they do have them at Nordstrom Rack still. They're like 23 or $24. I have not used it yet, but I have swatched it and it's amazing. And then I wanna show you guys like a clip online of the other thing I got. I just spent one of my gift cards I got for Christmas on something that I was supposed to get and then I didn't and then I was like, oh, I'll get this instead. And then I was like, you know what? I really want both and I have a gift card. So yeah, let me show you that. So this is the other thing I got. It is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Eyeshadow Palette. It's like, yeah, this is like a whole long name, but it's, yeah, it's the eyeshadow palette. These usually take a long time to come in the mail. That was everyone's complaint. So I sent it to my school address because I'll be off of winter break in two weeks and I'll be back at school. So I won't have this for at least two weeks. Hopefully it'll be there when I arrive and I can go pick it up. But I am so excited about this. Uh, and I think I will do a haul in retrospect, definitely because I haven't used these palettes, but it's just, oh my God, I'm so excited. And I'm really excited because I really wanted like some matte blues to use in conjunction with this and like there's all these nice silvers and yeah I'm just super super stoked. I have two more makeup items and then I have some perfumes. So first I got the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara in their limited edition crazy fun packaging. I haven't actually taken this out. I am wearing this mascara today, not this tube, but I have a normal tube. This is my favorite mascara and I wanted to ask for it and they just so happened to have this limited edition packaging and I was like, yeah, like why not? I'll ask for that one. It's not any more expensive. So yeah, I'm very excited to have that. I really love this mascara. Speaking of glitter, the last thing is from Sephora. I went to New York City the day after Christmas. We always used to go to New York City after Christmas and I was like, let's bring it back. 
So we did, and my dad let me go to Sephora, and he was like, pick something out, and I'll get it for you. And I was like, because oh, I never buy things for myself that I won't use, like, in my everyday life. But I got something crazy. I got the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Wait, is that what it's called? I feel like people are calling it something else, but... This is what it looks like. You guys have seen these a thousand times. I got the shade Diamond Dust. It is so amazing. That is what is on my eyes today, like in the very center for that glitter. This is a silver rainbow duo, duo clone, du whoa, duo chrome glitter. It's amazing. I bought this specifically like for my New Year's Eve look but I know I'm gonna get so much use out of this. And like when everyone has been raving about these, I've kind of just been like, yeah, yeah, whatever. They're not that good, but they really are. And one thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't buy every color. I know that I wouldn't use like every color and obviously I'm not gonna use this every day, but it's gonna be so fun. I think I'm gonna use this a lot more than I initially thought I would because it's really, really easy. Like it's glitter, but there's no fallout. And you don't have to use a primer, you just put it on, on top of something, and then it's good. And yeah, I'm very excited. Thank you, Dad. My aunt gave me this Viva La Juicy Rosé tiny little deluxe size sample. It doesn't have a spray, which is kind of annoying, but I guess you just like do this and then this, and then I guess that's how you do it. But it smells really, really, really good. I really, really like this scent. And the last thing was my big gift for the year. This is Gucci Bloom. You guys heard me talk a lot about perfume samples in my 12 Pans of Christmas video. And this is the perfume that I chose. So this is an amazing set. This is the full size. This is a rollerball and this is a lotion. This whole set was only $5 more than buying just the full size and you get so much more perfume with the rollerball. I am wearing it today and it smells like honeysuckles and it's amazing and I'm very excited. That was everything guys. I hope you enjoyed. You know, I don't really do videos like this, but give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know what was the most exciting thing you got for the holidays. I hope you guys all had really nice holidays and now you can have a refreshing start into the new year. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.